as someone entering Cerebro. Maybe Apocalypse? <laughs> Young Jean Grey having visions of what's to come, a la X-Men 2. Feel all this death. Jean. Hmm. It was just a dream. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. It's a dream. <laughs> we should ignore it. <laughs> Yeah, that song, The Hunted. Many things over many lifetimes. Right off the bat, I'm not too crazy about Oscar Isaac's voice. I mean, because I'm so used to Apocalypse from the Animated Series' his voice being deeper. And I'm um, worried McTaggart really shouldn't know who they are, because in first class, Xavier erased her mind, erased her memory. And she's, uh, and she's Irish in the comics, not in, in, uh, in the cartoon from... A Nightcrawler, Jubilee. Yeah, I like that these X-Men movies are period pieces. You know, this one taking place in the 80s. Pretty much the era X-Men that you know, I grew up on. Wherever this being was, he always had four followers. He would imbue with power. Yeah, I'm sorry. Olivia Munn. I, I see Olivia Munn. I mean, she's not Psylocke, you know? Like, I still think of her as the chief, the host of G4 from years past. Oh god, he can control all of us. Definitely like Magneto's new outfit there. You know, Apocalypse, I mean, the lighting here, I mean, he, he's blue. I mean, you know, he didn't look like, he didn't look like Ivan Ooze. Yeah, hopefully Cyclops isn't a pansy. Yeah, he grows big. Yeah, Quicksilver. Archangel, Storm, hopefully this actress is better than Halle Berry. Build a better one. Yeah, looks like he's hacking Cerebro. New York getting attacked. Yeah. Possibly Onslaught? Because that would be, you know, a level, level up in a future movie. And yeah, now he's officially Charles Xavier. <laughs> Cautiously optimistic. Well, just like uh, Civil War. <laughs>